Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Ezekiel 42. Alright, so we're still on that, that list of, uh, of um, chapters that are describing this temple. And I think there's a lot we, have, we can pull out of this, so we got to read through it all, even though it may be a little boring, to get to that point. So now we're on chapter 42, the chambers for the priests. Then he brought me out into the outer court, by the way toward the north. And he brought me into the chamber, which was opposite the separating court, and which was opposite the building toward the north, facing the length, which was 100 cubits, the width was 50 cubits, was the north door, opposite the inner court of 20 cubits, and opposite the pavement of the outer court was gallery against gallery in three stories. <coughs> in front of the chambers, toward the outside, or sorry, inside, was a walk ten cubits wide, at a distance of one cubit, and their doors faced north. Now the upper chambers were shorter, because these galleries took away space from them more than from the lower and middle stories of the buildings. For they were in three stories, and did not have pillars like the pillars of the courts. Therefore, the upper level was shortened more than the lower and middle levels from the ground up. This is extremely elaborate. Verse 7, And a wall which was outside ran parallel to the chambers at the front of the chambers toward the outer court. Its length was 50 cubits. The length of the chambers toward the uh, outer court was 50 cubits, whereas that facing the temple was 100 cubits. At the lower chambers was, chambers was the entrance on the east side, as one goes into them from the outer court. Also, there were chambers in the thickness of the wall of the court toward the east, opposite the separating courtyard and opposite the building. There was a walk in front of them also, and their appearance was like the chambers, which were toward the north. They were as long and as wide as the others, and all their exits and entrances were according to the plan. And corresponding to the doors of the chambers that were facing south, as one enters them, there was a door in front of the walk, the way directly in front of the wall towards the east. Then he said to me, the north chambers and the south chambers which are opposite the separating courtyard, are the holy chambers, where the priests who approach the Lord shall eat the most holy offerings. There they shall lay the most holy offerings, the grain offering, the sin offering, and the trespass offering, for the place is holy. When the priests enter them, they shall not go out of the holy chamber into the outer court, but there they shall leave their garment, or garments in which they minister, for they are holy. They shall put on other garments, then they may approach that which is for the people. Now we have the outer dimensions of the temple. Now, when he had finished measuring the inner temple, he brought me out through the gateway that faces towards the east and measured it all around. He measured the east side with the measuring rod, 500 rods by the measuring rod all around. He measured the north side, 500 rods by the measuring rod all around. He measured the south side 500 rods by their measuring rod. He came around to the west side and measured 500 rods by the measuring rod. He measured it on the four sides. It had a wall all around 500 cubits long and 500 wide to separate the holy areas from the common. That's a big wall. 500 cubits. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's check this out. 500 cubits. To miles. So for the cubit we have 500. So that is. Point one three nine eight zero. It goes on and on and on. So it's a little bit under a mile. Let's convert it to feet. See how many feet it is. Seven hundred and fifty feet. So we're looking at a seven hundred and fifty foot long wall. That's a big wall. Big, big wall. See how easy it is for you guys to look some of this stuff up? It's really simple. Use Google and just look it up. A lot of people have an aversion to Google. I can't believe we're looking stuff up on the Bible. If it says the same thing, 
it, it's there's nothing wrong with it. I don't understand why people have such a problem with this. It's very easy to look this stuff up. That simple. Literally, literally Google it. We carry computers in our pockets and talk on them every day. Uh, you know, this is a supercomputer. I mean, back in whenever I was growing up, we were lucky to have a basic calculator that did addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Um, that was a status to symbol back in, when I was growing up. Now we have a complete computer that we can do literally everything on, talking to people around the world in real time. So it's easy to look this stuff up. But this gives you a, a greater idea because you can look up, okay, what does 750 feet look like? And you can picture what this thing is going to look like. It's going to be big. So tomorrow will be Ezekiel 43, the temple. How long is this? Pretty long. The temple, the Lord's dwelling place. This is a separate part of the structure. And we'll get into that tomorrow. Now, I think as we keep going, we're going to end up getting into more details, giving us an idea of just how big this place is. Because if you go back and look at the dimensions, uh, the stuff that they had from back in the second temple period, it wasn't this big. From what I can tell, it was a quite a bit smaller than this. So what temple is he giving him dimensions to? And why are they so specific? That's what we're going to discover. It's, we've got a little bit of boring stuff to go through, but that's what we're going to discover here. What is this temple? Why is it so specifically described? And who is it for? Guys, that was Ezekiel 42. Stay with me through this because we may make some very interesting discoveries. My hope is we're going to make some interesting discoveries. And every bit of the Bible, even the parts that don't seem to make sense, even the parts that are boring, have meaning. It's up to us to discover it. And that's why we're here. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.